Ambag. So shall we start? I think uh, uh, Anand, Aditya, and you said you have to wait. So we can start and let's see. Okay, chal. So let's begin, guys. Here is the first question of the evening. Let's see how many of you can get correct. Start. Oh, uh, this is first question. Compounds of wait a minute. Oh, I think you will answer quickly. All of all would be voting quickly. Easy, huh? Everyone knows it. Still some okay. Done. Okay, I think most of you have got it. Absolute yes. Chlorine is the answer. Oh, amazing. So lots of people know this. So you are really generally aware. Okay. First read about. First John V. Good. Cool. Devil Rishav NPS INR. <laughs> okay, cool. Very good guys. Let's go to the next question. Okay. Here is the next question. Sorry, Varad, if you can play on our laptop, that's best. This is also easy. Guess now why? It is very common. These are all, you know, things of your, what do you say, daily use. So you must be aware about all of that. Oh, that's so poor response. So you know, <laughs> nylon is the answer, guys. It's made up of nylon threads. Okay, so that means your general awareness level goes down from here. This is the leaderboard. Okay, let me, Ahan. Okay, cool. And lots of people from top 10. That's nice. This, these type of quiz will see lots of shuffling. Very good. Cool. Let's go to the next question. Hmm. Alkyl benzene sulfonates. Where do you find them? Uh, it's, it's there on the screen. My screen. Look at my screen and answer. Alkyl sulfonate, alkyl benzene sulfonates, where would you find them? Guess, huh? Very common product. Ta -da! Oh, most of you have got it correct. So, did you really know this or yet? How many guessed? How many got it correct? You do guess, huh? How many knew it? Can't even pronounce it. It's called alkyl benzene sulfonates okay so remember this the common ingredient in detergents which you use for washing your clothes alkyl benzene sulfonate so it's a organic compound with sulfur hmm? sulfur i think so means yeah next oh this is a leaderboard oh lots of shuffling cool dimahi is now on top nice Next. So you have seen this, right? Quads. Why do we write quads? Why is quads written? Easy. Pratik knows it. So those who know, it will be easier. Don't know. Okay. So it's because, you know, uh, yes. So 16. Very good. See, basically, quartz is a piezoelectric. I don't know if you know piezoelectric uh, material. So when you pressurize, it produces electricity. And when you, you know, give electricity, it starts oscillating. So there's a very fine tongue of, you know, uh, tuning fork kind of a thing in the quartz. Uh, so there's a quartz crystal. Uh, is used to make a uh, what is a tuning fork kind of thing. So when you when electricity is applied to it, it starts vibrating, and it vibrates very precisely. So in one second it vis it it vibrates those many number of times, which is you know calculated and time is kept using that. Okay. Okay. So guess work is going on. Oh, that's nice. 
कुल वेरी गुड चलो नेक्स्ट लेट्स गो डू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाँ नाउ लेट मी सी हाउ मेनी फ्रीकन आंसर दिस The maximum current which a typical household air conditioner can draw is mm. oh so fast that's nice thanks up okay cool still many people have got it correct so good good you guessed it ah huh? see um uh, you have two types of electrical circuit in your household do you know this One is 15 amp circuit. One is 5 amp circuit. Okay, so there are two different electrical circuits in your household. So the heavy equipment like geysers, uh, yes, geysers and uh, air conditioners, refrigerators and uh, microwave ovens, um, all these are uh, all these use 15 ampere circuit. The 5 ampere circuit is for television, fan, bulbs, lights. You know, yes, mixer grinder and all that. Hmm? Good. What about 45? You don't in in our household we don't have any connection which can draw 45. Forget about you know 15 is too much. Usual ampere is around 10, 11 amps, 12 amps maximum. 45 is way too high for a household. Cool. So number that is in rank one position. Dhruv, Pratik, Anuja, Nishant. Ronald, Ronald, Ronald is from where? I don't know. Siddharth and Satvik and he ho and he manchu. Next. Okay. You have used. You have seen this a lot. Hmm. You have seen this on a daily. You don't know. Time's up. Okay, so it's basically <laughs> it has a coat of calcium carbonate. No, it's basically you know um, the there are different colors of light which is produced inside. They blend, they mix together to give you a, a sensation of white light. Okay, so you'll you understand. There's a very important, very interesting mechanism behind it. I'm not going to. Describe more because there are questions related to it later. Next. Okay. 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 Very good. So Pratik is now on position number one. Next, let's go. Which of the following elements would you find in a compact fluorescent lamp? It should be easy. Very dangerous element. Very dangerous element. It causes a disease called. Can you name the disease which it causes? Ex excessive exposure to. <laughs> so what is the? Still, people could not get it. Yep. So, yeah. So, what is the name of the disease? It's called Minamata disease. Do you know this? Minamata. Minamata is a place in Japan. Minamata disease. So, uh, I don't know if you are aware that um, we have to phase out mercury usage. Yes. So we can't use mercury any. So hence you will see the lot very less mercury thermometers available these days in uh, this thing. So yes, it creates a lot of. Arsenic is more deadly, yes, but then uh, arsenic is not commonly used, but mercury is very much in use, right? So if you see the tube lights are gone now. In tube lights earlier they used to have mercury, very you know interesting phenomena which happens inside. But uh, exposure to mercury is dangerous because it leads to something called mina mata disease. So now the world has decided to phase the uses of mercury out. <laughs> Never mind, Pratik. I will give you more clues. Shall next, next question, folks. Ready? Anuya is now in the first position. 
Lots of reshuffling is happening. That's interesting. So it's interesting to see. Okay, the typical Howard Hall CFL consumes power. How much power does it consume? So look carefully. What is the right answer? So you must, if you have bought it ever, you must be knowing it. Easy, right? Have you ever bought a CFL lamp? Yeah, ordered uh, or gone to electrical shop and bought it. So what do you say? You know, typically what is the range? So, oh, still, huh, many of you have got it correct. Good. Good that you didn't write. This is, you know, there was a trap. Someone was asking what is the trap? This is KW, kilowatt. So, right. So it is 3 to 15 watt. What is the unit of? What is the unit of? What is the unit of power? Okay. What is the unit of energy? Unit of energy. Joules. Okay. And then what is calorie? Calorie is a unit of heat. And what is heat? Heat is not energy. Form of energy. Hmm. Right. Okay, good. Sensible heat is measured, huh? Or in, you know, uh, in joules. Anyways, let's go to. And calorie is normally calorie you have heard in what? In your food products. And uh, while going to a gym, you say all that. How many calories do I burn? Hmm. Next question is. Oh, first of all, the leaderboard not doesn't show much of a difference this time around. Yeah. So almost. The top 10 are still the same. You want, you can do it, but in 20 seconds, what will you Google and what will you find? Instead of that, just do a. Okay, chalo. Next. Hmm, this is an interesting question. Let me see how many of you can crack this. UV is ultraviolet. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, mixed. There is no filament. <laughs> the, you know, so there is not. It is in, in incandescent lamp. What was invented by Thomas Alva Edison? That is that lamp where there is a tungsten filament. Right? But here what happens is. Uh, yeah, uh, there is mercury and uh, you know electrons fall onto them. Uh, so electrons, you know, come out of them. You know, the uh, you know the material, the element over there goes to a higher energy level and then sir, clues. Clues of what? Now the question is over. Right? And then what happens? Then uh, the electrons come back to their origin. You know, you will study this in, in chemistry later on. Electrons come back to their normal state and while doing that, whatever energy they had gained, they release in form of UV rays. UV rays. These rays then go and hit something called a phosphor material coated inside. Okay. No, any more question on CFL? Okay. So it, it emits, you know, that phosphor material then emits visible light of different color which got, gets mixed and you see it as white light. Okay, next question. Maybe one more question on CFL. I don't know. Cool. Oh, Ronald is. I come on, guys. Ronald. Ronald is. <laughs> someone unknown person is on top. How can that be with you guys? Chalo. Come on. Hmm. Cell phone batteries. I don't know if you've ever observed. You remember on trains? Okay. Okay, time's up. And here is... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Many of you know it, but many of you don't know it. You must be aware. Ronald is Abhishek. Okay, fine. Then fine. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so now you know. 3 to 5 volts, right? Typically, 3.7, 3, 5. You can check it on the adapters. Okay, okay, so, ah, Anuya, just to, oh, anyways, you are way ahead. Good, very good, guys. Shall next, let's go to the next question.
वायरिंग इन द हाउस होल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट आर मेड अप ऑफ शुड बी ईजी हम्म गुड यू आर कुकिंग वॉट आहान कोरियर इट टू मी ऑल्सो लिटल बिट ओके वेरी गुड आओ दैट्स सो नाइस पीपल आर सो अवेयर दैट्स कूल दैट्स नाइस हियर इज दी ओह माई गॉड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ देम वर क्लोज very good it's not aluminum it's copper right um cool next let's go to the next question very good come on come on ah yeah this one those who have not observed it properly Yeah, easy. Okay, cool. Oh, most of you got it. Nine volt battery is not double A. Okay. Wow, cool. Nice. I am really happy to see lot of people know right answers. That's nice. Here is the leaderboard. Anuya is maintaining the lead. That's amazing, guys. Good. Very good. Come on. Come on, come on. So who is leading? Indra Nagar. Ro Ronald. Who is Ronald? I didn't. And didn't. I forgot. Ronald was which school? Abhishek. Okay, Indra Nagar. Okay, great. Abhishek is there. So Indra Nagar, Indra Nagar, R N R, R N R, R N R, I N R, I N R, R N R, R N R, R N R. Okay, there is no K R M N H S R. What happened to you folks? Or they are not there? Maybe. Anyways, chalo. Next, next. Go to next question. So let's see who wins. Indra Nagar or Rajaji Nagar? Trophy goes to whom? Well, add the points of top ten. Let's see. Ah, has to point in which of the following directions? Interesting. Let me see how many of you know it and ever observed, and you know the reason also. That's important. You have DTH antennas, right? Right on your rooftop. So, in which direction they point? All of them point towards only one direction. Have you seen that? No clue. Think. And <laughs> no. Okay, think. I want you to think. This is very common sensical question. Why do they point towards? Yes, anyone can unmute and say, "I will be really happy if someone can explain this." It's related to geography. It's related to astronomy. It's related to science. Anyone? Anyone? Those who got those six, who all got correct? Is it guesswork? Janvi. So Janvi, do you know why it is pointing towards? Pradeep, do you know why? It, why does it point towards south? Right, so I so, uh, so tell me, what is it pointing to? What is it pointing to? So what is what does it point to? The sky, right? <laughs> satellite, right? What kind of yes, yes, Abhishek guesses a satellite. What kind of satellites? It's called geostationary satellite. Geostationary satellites, right? Geostationary satellites usually are yes, someone is singing song, but uh, I have to yeah. so geostationary uh, uh, satellites are satellites which are always on the same position above the, in the sky right so hence otherwise you have to keep on rotating the dish antenna so right and geostationary satellites mostly revolve above equator and equator is in which direction of bangalore so hence that's the all right so you should observe and ask this question okay chalo next i don't mind i can do that if people are interested but today only 30 i i was disappointed many people should have joined him anyways cool so uh let's go to uh yeah around 36000 km is correct sir. next yes sir. who's this sir, sir this is rakhav i just joined i didn't know there was a center mar today have we changed the schedule for center mar same so this is gandhar eh hey, how many times did i say in the last uh, center mar and in the classes also i told you don't tell me 
Did I not announce in the class also that on Sunday we are going to have a general what event? What is the schedule for uh, Santamar now? Same thing, same thing. It is an extra Santamar for you guys. I told in the class. It's but then we got a message. I, I, leave it, leave it. Let's let's let's, let's focus on playing. We'll discuss it later. Okay, good. TV remote uses which of the following communication infrared rays? I don't know if you have tried it. Uh, if you uh, look in the opposite side of television, if you wear specs also, and if you point out the remote on your specs, it will yeah yes uh, it will it will still work. Right, so you have used it on Arduino, so Arduino also uses that remote control uses infrared sensor, you know, rays communication, IR communication. Okay, okay, chalo, good. Okay, 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 not much of a change. Anuya is still maintaining the lead, that's cool. Anuya is a, you know, quizzer or something. She quiz, she participates in quiz. Yes, I, I use Arduino. I use Raspberry Pi as well. I used to do a lot of that in my earlier days. Now, no more. Liquefied petroleum gas has which of the following gases as its. Uh, yeah. This is common. Yeah. This is very Liquefied petroleum gas has which of the following yeah. gases as its nature? Mex uh, methane, hexane, propane, butane. Methane, hexane. I, I, I really like it. Who is this? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Really, really cute. Very good. Yeah, it's like Khan Banega Karol Pati, right? Okay, cool. Wow, propane and butane, right? So these are the basic hydrocarbons um, which are used for, oh, which are used, which are mined and then, uh, you know, learned it this year. Very good. So now see, I apply, you know, application. Methane and hexane, not there. Methanol, ethanol are alcohols. So, you you know, but they are also combustible, you know this, but they are not part of LPG. Methanol, ethanol, both are very highly um, combustible. Ethene and benzene are not there in this. Okay, next. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, still Indranagar. Oh, Indranagar RNR are closing in. Good, good, good. Next. Ah, this you know, you were discussing this. You were discussing this. <laughs> but why why uh, do we need to add ethyl mercaptan? You know this already, but why do you need to? Reason being, why can't the pure gases be there simply? Ah, because the the constituents are odorless gases, methane, ethane, propane, butane are all odorless gases. If they had some odor in themselves, you didn't need ethyl mercaptan, isn't it? Okay, fair enough. So, you know the formula of ethyl mercaptan, anyone? Anyone knows the formula of ethyl mercaptan? Yes, tell me, what is ethyl mercaptan? Anyone? I think it's C2H5S. C2H5S. It's not CH4S. Yes. Right? Okay. Chalo. Let's go to the next question. Good that you retain your previous knowledge. That's good. See, these are all general awareness things. You must know these things in your household. Okay. Next question. Oh, before that. Mm. So Anuya is well maintaining her leads right on top. That's nice. Let's go to. Mm. Use pencils daily. Ab batao. Easy. Good. Nice. Very good. So you know this? Oh, that's cool. People are generally aware. Very good. Next question, guys. Oh, before that, the leaderboard. Okay, yes, this is the. Ah, uh, wow, so close. Really good, really good, really good. Cool. 
Cool. Namrata, come on, come on, come on. Faster. Ahan. Above. Chalo, chalo. Come on. Next. Come on, come on, come on. Compound of which element would you find in a deodorant? Ha, ha, ha. You use... Very dangerous. Aluminium. Wrong answer by a lot of people. It's aluminium. So now it is, uh, you know, they are talking about, uh, you know, there was some, I don't know, rumors or what, that aluminium compounds uh, create Alzheimer's disease or let lead to so hence they were trying to yes right aluminium so lots of aluminium compounds are there which are there in the deodorant which they are trying to not use because there are some doubts that they might cause Alzheimer's okay next Oh, lots of people got it wrong. Okay, cool. Next. Come on, come on, come on, folks. Faster. Ah, this you must know. Where have you seen this? You eat lots of packaged food daily. You must know this. Wow. Good. 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 So it's called Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Thank you, Ashish. Okay. Understood? Good. So you must know every packaged food must contain, you know, this label behind the, you know, or wherever, somewhere in the food packet panel. Okay. Next. You use it till you eat biscuits, chips, and whatnot. So, okay, that's cool. Oh, Anika is now, oh, INR people have taken over. Ah, very good. What has happened? INR people, come on. Next is your question. Where do you see this? Yes, so that means you don't really, you know, uh, look at the equipments and tools around you. It's Bureau of Indian Standards, right? So, you know, if you go and purchase jewelry or, um, you know, anything where weights and measures are involved, there you'll see this kind of a logo, right? Okay, very good. So lots of people have guessed only Namrata and Dhruv. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. But not much of a difference in the leaderboard as such. Let's go to the next question, guys. Here is the next one. Hmm. You have seen this. Capsule. Good. Here, oh, 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 well done, well done. Where have you seen this? Tell me a place where you have seen this. UPS, that's cool. Okay. Where else? Where else? God knows. Janvi says, ah, UPS is one. Where else? Movies. Inverter, yes. But in your uh, spike guards also, it is there. Voltage stabilizers, very good. Normally, all the equipment has. In fact, your automobile, your vehicle also has this fuse. Next. Oh, but Mr. Pratik, you were 
you didn't get a point you didn't get points here okay electric fuse but it's showing wrong oh but how can that be electric fuse it was never mind chalo hmm let me see how many of you know this these are very common in use what are they made up of you know this Most of you know what is this called? PET, right? PET, PET material, poly, polyethylene. All are plastics for that matter. Nishant, polyethylene, bakelite, polyester, polyethylene, terephthalene. Everything is, everything is plastic here, right? There are different forms, types of. <laughs> That's cool, Janvi. Common sense, good, 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 good. But you now remember what is this? Polyethylene terephthalate. Okay, PET, PET. You say right, PET bottle, PET bottle, polyethylene. So polyethylene is what? What do you know? What do you? What is called? You know, polyethylene. Polyethylene is yes, PET, right? Polyethylene terephthalate. Now polyethylene is the common, you know, plastic, the common parlance what we use, common, you know, the polyethylene bag what we call it. That's polyethylene. These are all polymers. You study about this in chemistry, polymers. Okay, Anika, still very good. Nice, that's nice. Yes, PET bottle. That PET bottle is polyethylene terephthalate bottle. Always remember. Ah, this is so much. This is very common. Every no, let me not give a hint. Easy. Every so let everyone. Yes, everyone has voted. Every plastic bottle has this. Recycle. Oh, that's so nice. So oh, cool. This is amazing. Photo. Photo op. Okay, great. Oh, that was that was really really close. Yeah, that was really close. No shuffling. Oh. No, yes, pizza. <laughs> Chalo. Cool. That's a, that's nice. Very good. So electromagnets can so only you know twelve people were knowing it. That's good. No, not many people know this. Every everywhere there is wherever there is a motor. Yes, the the motor you know uh, runs on electromagnetic principles. So there has to be an electromagnet. Okay. Everywhere where there is refri refrigerator, there is a compressor. Right, so there is electromagnet. Without those electromagnets, you can't run these machines. Okay, so very good. So you must know this. Next, read about. Okay, yes. So this is the. Current position. Let's go to the next one. This you must know. Every month, the person comes to your building or household, and then he takes the reading. Yes, best calm. Easy. So you must be knowing this. This this is taught also in the schools. Right? 
Hmm, right? K W H we call it, right? So there is no watt, there is no joule. K kilowatt R, right? Clear? This is commercial unit of electrical energy. What is the? Uh, we are anyways asked not kilowatt, Jami. Kilowatt is power. So kilowatt hour is yes. K W H is the. Uh, so you know power is what? Energy by time. So energy is power into time. So power unit is kilowatt. Time unit is hour. So kilowatt hour. By the way, do you know how much energy India consumes, or India can consume? India has the capability of consuming every second. Any idea? What is the total installed capacity in India? How much? No, nothing. What? What unit, Aditya? We have 300 plus, or around 400 gigawatts power. 400 giga, 10 to the power 9. 400 into 10 to the power 9 watts. Yeah, almost not tera giga, right? So giga is 10 to the power 9, 400 gigawatts. So in one second, if need be, India can consume 4 into 10 to the power 11 joules of energy in one second. Entire country. We usually consume around 150. Uh, that is, you know, 1.5 into 10 to the power 12 joules of energy in one second. Not 12, 10 to the power 11. 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 joules of energy, roughly. Okay, and uh, you remember uh, there was uh, uh, this thing when uh, it was announced to switch off the light at 9 o'clock in the evening, sometime back, some two weeks back, right? Then on that day, you know, so the lighting load of India is set. So all lights put together, we have around 14 gigawatts. So out of that. 300 gigawatts. 14 is only on light, lighting. So that's what. Okay. Next. He haw. Who is he haw? He could not solve this one. Hmm. Okay. Next. Anika is maintaining the lead. Chal. Now I don't know whether you know about this. How much do you pay for your electricity? Okay, very good. That's nice. So you know that that's that's really cool that most of you know it that you are paying this much amount of. Did you really know it or you just guessed it? Right? Have you seen your electricity bill? 0.79. That was way. <laughs> Wait, did it? Did it come in the new newspaper? That I didn't know. Okay, very good. So you know, so you have you seen your electricity bill ever? What all details are there? Yep. Please check it. Please check it once. What all details do you see there? There is RR number. There is this number, that number. How much kilowatt hour? Peak load, that load, this load. Try to understand and decipher each term. Let me see if you can. Yeah. Okay. Great. Good to know that that you know it. Next. Okay. Cool. So he how got it, and uh, so is okay. So not much change now. Not much change. Next question, guys. Next question. Most of you know it. I actually gave this an example in the class. Okay, that's nice. Okay, most of you know it. Good, common sense. Common, you know, you know, you know this already. But tell me one thing: why is longest? Why is it longest? Why does it need to be the longest? Why does it need to be the longest? Why can't it be of the same length? What is the use, purpose? What surge, Gandhar? Surge meaning what? So why do we need to be have need to have this longest? 
resistance to shock what goes through the earth so longest first to enter the electricity first to enter the electricity no so why is earthing needed is that if let's say there is any residual current on the body yes first to connect and last to disconnect very aptly said said right very good why do you need to yes that's fine but why does it need to be the longest pin it's because it has to be first to connect why because if at all there is any residual electricity on the surface of the equipment which you are using so that electricity must go first and that should be removed hence it should make the contact first before the live wire or live this thing comes into contact okay very good next what is gfci give full form yaar i don't and how do you manage to spell your name wrong hey come on next so anika very good well done let's see where does it go hmm oh ground fault circuit interpret gfc okay ज so much high voltage right so hence okay so hence what does it do is it takes 240 volt input 220 to 240 volt input and reduces it to reduce it to 5 volt 5 volt now transformer doesn't do ac to dc conversion no okay yes so a phone phone cannot withstand charger uh, the cell phone cannot withstand that much yes very good nice but that it doesn't convert ac to dc for that there is something called rectifier circuit hmm full wave rectifier circuit converts ac to dc okay here is the next standing and my dear fellows next hmm i don't know how many of you know this Hmm. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, how did you like my options, my dear friends? All options I had to think a lot to make such options. Herbert and Benetton. How did you? How was the name? The name was cool, right? Close. <laughs> I all the other three were fabricated. Okay. so i tried my level best to make you get into trap but then you guys are real intelligent and my effort just went down the drain no not at all jagrav i made it up they are not real <laughs> hardness and beauty i am laughing so <laughs> right handwriting right so handwriting and beauty of calligraphy maybe people can think like that okay okay chalo next Here, okay, cool. Oh, it seems Anika is way ahead. So the only possibility is Anuya, you getting it right, and Anika, you getting it wrong. Karam, any Karam? Oh, Roshan is there. Cool. That's nice. Cool. Karam is on board. That's nice. Maintain that. Okay, the final question of the day. This is real stuff. How many of you know this? How 
How many of you know this? Ta-da! You know this is a big industry, very big industry. It's called uh, e-waste industry. Oh my God! Very very less people. One, two, and three. So you didn't add platinum. Everything is there. In fact, there is palladium. There is yes. There all of them are present in the cell phone. So it's a very big industry. It's called e-waste industry. In fact, your computers, especially mobile phones, have all of this. Gold is a very good conductor of electricity. No, gold and silver are the best conductors of electricity. Okay, so that's yes. So hence, um, these are used in very fine, very finite. Uh, sorry, very small quantity. You know, one more thing. All these, uh, you know, and there are many more like palladium and many, many more. These are called rare earth metals. And which country holds the highest reserves of all this? You know, any any guess? That country controls the economy of the world today. No, not at all. <laughs> no, not China. Dhruv, correct. So yes, China is like in the arm twisting mode. So they have lots of these these. Uh, you know, if you see all your gadgets uh, come from Taiwan, South Korea, North Korea. Not North Korea. North Korea is not that this thing. So China, right? So China is one country uh, which supplies all your Apple iPhones, your Mi ones, Lenovo. You name it, and it is made out of made out of China. Why? Because they are one good at good at manufacturing, and second, they have all these yes, all these rare earth metal. So you guys need to be strong and competent, competent to beat these Chinese. Okay, so that's why one reason why I'm teaching you all. Okay, very good. So this is the last. This was the last. And final, okay. So Anika maintains the lead, and Raja Jinaga people have backed the first and third. Anika, many congratulations! Very good, you're really great. And Anuya, Pratik, Akshay, Ashish, Hiho, Ahan, Ronald, Nishant, and Dhruv. Very good, guys. So I think point tally wise, how many from Raja Jinaga? One, two. Oh. Only three. So eventually, Indranagar has more points than Rajendragar people in total. This thing, right? So good. Congrats to all of you who have come into top ten. Right, guys? Did you like it? If you like this kind of quiz, then please put it as a this thing in your group so that we can discuss it. Okay. So if you want this kind of because this was just a trial with all of you. So yes. So we will. We will have it um, more often. So hence, you need to uh, put it there in the so that more people can come there, and uh, we can have more quizzes like that. Right? All well. So please don't forget to mention one line about this so that we can attract more people. Okay? That's the only intention, not to gain any brownie points over here. Bus, just to. Make sure that everyone takes part. So just put a couple of lines there in the group that you like the quiz, so that we can we get some motivation to work more hard and get some more questions on this. Okay, thanks guys, and I hope you really enjoyed it. We will learn like this. Quizzing is the best way of learning, I think. So thanks for participating and congrats, Anika, once again. Well done, buddy. Keep it up. Bharat will will try and sort it out, buddy. Sorry.